The Quest 2 has become the most popular VR headset in history, and with great reasons. It pushes the limits of standalone VR while remaining accessible to the public. The Quest features and technology advancements are just enough to push it into the mainstream audience. In 2023, this will result in the third version of the Quest. The next generation of VR is affordable, but the route that Meta's new headset will take may surprise you. So much for it? This is all what we know about Quest 3. Before we dive into the precise leaked details of the Quest 3, we must discuss the Quest Pro, its manufacturing grandfather. It appears that everyone was somewhat unhappy with the Pro. This is due to the device's pricing and appearance, despite the fact that it posts some amazing functions. By examining the Quest 2's hardware, it is evident that Pro is the key to reducing manufacturing costs for the Quest 3. Meta is not in the same position as when the initial Quest was released. They have invested in order to delight beyond everything else. Consequently, the Pro is a stepping stone that will ideally allow Quest 3 to be released at a reasonable price for everyone. This concludes the initial information regarding Quest 3, the price. Meta may have brought with it a wealth of new information. As Zuckerberg confirmed, the Quest 3 will likely cost between $300 and $500. Hence, we are in the same position as Quest 2. This puts Meta's new headgear in the hands of consumers, which is excellent news. The specifications of this headset are equally outstanding. The majority of this material comes from sadly it's Bradley's leaked CAD files, which have shown to be credible in the past. The anticipated resolution is 2064 by 2208 pixels per eye, a 30% improvement over the Quest 2's resolution. It appears that they will return to OLED, much like the original Quest, so anticipate more bright colors and deeper blacks. The probable new chipset from Qualcomm, codenamed Project Holiday, which is a suitable moniker, is certainly something to be excited about. If you were unaware, Qualcomm and Meta have collaborated to produce the best VR chips and the partnership's Project Holiday appears to be something generally unique. According to reports, the processor could offer twice the graphic capabilities of the Quest 2. In addition, provide 12 GB of RAM and 512 GB of SSD storage. Infuriatingly, for those who have the Pro, this surpasses the Pro's graphics capabilities, especially considering its possible third-rate price. It appears that the Quest 3 will also adopt pancake lenses, which are vastly superior to the conventional lenses on the Quest 2. If you have the Pico 4 or Quest Pro, you will understand what I mean. The lenses deliver increased clarity and line for an enhanced field of view overall. According to the CAD files, it will likely have a charging method similar to the Quest Pro. So for instance, a charging dock may be included or offered as an extra. This is significantly more handy than I anticipated, as your Quest will always be fully charged. When you have a dock, like the one that comes with Quest Pro, this is a straightforward task. Controllers are another wonderful accessory included with a Quest Pro. Unfortunately, nothing has been disclosed or leaked regarding the Quest 3's controllers, although I do not anticipate Pro-level controllers. It is unconceivable to me that a headset could be released without numerous pricey alternatives. I anticipate the Quest 3 will be compatible with the Quest 2 controllers, but more identical to the Quest 2 in terms of features and functionality. Face and eye tracking will be absent from the Quest 3, which is the last piece of information I'll provide regarding the device. Some will be dissatisfied, but this is an essential cost-cutting measure. The design of the strap is also problematic, in my opinion. Having the battery in the rear is a night and day difference, and both the Quest Pro and the Pico 4 excel at this. It is easier and more comfortable to play for extended periods of time. I simply hope they implement the redesign prior to the product's release, as I believe that batteries positioned behind the head are the way forward. Four color pass through is likely the most significant piece of information, since it will determine the future and direction of Meta's headsets. Similar to the Pro, the Quest 3 will be equipped with AR capabilities. If you've tried this on the Pro, you know how game-changing it is to have a pass-through that is generally functional and has depth. This allows Meta to realize its vision of a device with many use cases, 
that stretch far beyond typical VR gaming. Holograms can therefore be utilized to facilitate a meeting. Pass-through allows you to teleport your pals for a game of chess or a chat, or simply put on your headset and watch TV in your living room. AR is the intended direction for Meta's devices. To stretch beyond this reality and combine the two, I only hope they don't lose sight of what's truly important, which is gaming. Gaming is VR's foundation, and to ignore this is simply to ignore 99.9% .9 of its audience. Consequently, their Quest Pro fails to impress. More do of the presentation style. What are your thoughts about Quest 3? Is it something you'd like to buy? Please let me know in the comment section below. And if you like the video, click like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.